You see, Aaron, I've been married to Peg for over 20 years. I've seen her from the front, I've seen her from the back. I've seen her in a chair, I've seen her in a sack. I've seen her stand, I've seen her crouch. I've seen her on our stupid couch. I do not like her in the mall, I do not like her in the hall. I do not like her in my life, I do not like my big red wife. I love that car more than anything that I have. <laughs> Dad, what about us? You need a Q-tip? Well, you haven't been very nice to my family. Well, neither is nature. Go bother it. Ho, ho, ho. You don't have to tell Santa what you want for Christmas. You want a pair of breasts. <laughs> Just like a grown-up woman. But Santa says, be happy with what you've got. The body of a young boy. You well, Bundy? Yes, hold the applause. What do you want? I just think you ought to know that your wife has been seeing my husband. Let me get this straight. Pardon the expression. <laughs> you say that your husband is running around with my wife? Yes. Your husband? Yes. Well, then we got three guys that won't touch my wife. What's the problem? Well, I'm not sure I like this shade of blue. I'll tell you what I'll do then. We'll stand you in front of a mirror. I'll begin strangling you. When you reach the shade of blue that is satisfactory to you, you yell moo and I'll stop. I'm taking my business elsewhere. May I suggest Jenny Craig? <laughs> when was the last time the Cubs won the World Series? 1908. And you can't remember the year we were married? <laughs> Same year, 1908. <laughs> Only difference is baseball's still interesting. <laughs> For one thing, I'm standing in raw sewage. <laughs> Ma'am, your control problems are not my concern. Look at this and see what you'll never have again! Hey, hey, I saw it again and it's all darkness! Let me take a picture of me so you can remember me when I was beautiful. Well, are you gonna get worse? Shut up and take the picture. I'm gonna plant these on her grave. You never bring me flowers. I would if you died. Look, I told you, I'm a five. And you are going to sell me a five if, if I have to sit here all night. So because you're mad at me, you're going to take it out on a perfectly innocent chair. <laughs> a chair that has suffered enough already. Well, I have just about had enough of you. Well, you wouldn't say that if I came with fries and a medium drink. <laughs> Oh, wait a second, Peg. Remember, the kids are here. Now, if you want to have sex, they'll have to leave. And if you want it to be good, you'll have to leave. Why don't you just get us a car? Well, geez, Louise, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> New cars for everybody! <laughs> Peg, would you like a BMW? Well, I kind of see myself in a Jaguar. Oh, if only we could find one that hungry. <laughs> With this attitude, you're going to be working here for the rest of your life. Well, take a gander into the seat next to you if you want to see what your future looks like. Come, Penelope. Let's go someplace where they treat us with respect. If I try the moon, you'll weigh less than that. We've got ourselves a serial peeper. He peeped me last night. Oh, he peeped you? <laughs> yes, it was horrible. Well, how was it for you?
Good, now you can put that metal plate back in your head. <laughs> Although, that's a lot like putting a lid on an empty jar. Oh! Or a bra on you. <laughs> that's it! Why? What'd I say? Hal Bundy, you are charged with crimes against obesity. <laughs> You're gonna fall through the floor. I don't understand it. I was a size six before aerobics class. All that jumping must have expanded my foot. But I see you must have fallen on your butt a time or two. How dare you say that to my face? Well, I say it behind your back, but my car's only got half a tank of gas. What for? The call costs more than the car. <laughs> yes, and it costs more than the condom I should have used the night you were conceived. Hi, honey. <laughs> Did you miss me? With every bullet so far. <laughs> We'll